Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam, wa salam, wa bat. alaikum family. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to address one of our good sister's uh, comments. She is a fan of the features. And I don't normally do this, but I think it's worth it to address this particular comment considering she, she does like the channel. And, it, and I think this might be a concern of sisters in general based on the last live I did with Lizzo crying, your food is killing you. So let's get right into it. So the sister says, Assalamu alaikum. I have to say I'm pretty dis disappointed with your delivery and I'm generally a fan of your content. Had a very boys locker room feel to it that distracted from what I think is an important message to our community. I highly doubt the young obese Muslim woman who hears this will feel inspired, motivated, or supported to make a change. Not to mention there is a thin line between being real and backbiting to make a point. Think you missed a real opportunity for an education piece. May Allah help us all, forgive us, give us tawfiq, ameen, your sister in Islam, Halima. Ameen, and may Allah bless you too, sister. So I responded to one of her points where she said, I highly doubt the young obese Muslim woman who hears this will feel inspired, motivated, or supported to make a change. I said that really wasn't my goal. My goal was to show the diabolical nature of this movement. But even still, this that you're saying about me applies many times more to Lizzo and the body positivity movement as that is their actu actually stated goal. Now, I'm assuming by the way that she responded to me that she could possibly be obese. I don't know the sister. I'm just making an assumption. But even if she isn't, the point is that here on the features, we don't go after black women. We don't go after the obese. We don't go after the weak, the oppressed. We go after the enemy. And we go and we after the enemy and we expose their tactics. Yesterday, I made a point to say that in my opinion, Lizzo is a Trojan horse to bring this fat shaming body positivity movement inside the black community and make it like a type of intersectional group to cause censorship. We've already gone through this with the LGBTs and the alphabet, alphabet people and whatnot. And we've seen the destruction that those people have brought into the black community every single time you criticize them, they come with censorship. This came out today. Lizzo, Facebook and Instagram remove abusive comments from singers' accounts. This is coming next. This is coming next. And that was the point. Now, I know a lot of sisters are sensitive about their weight, particularly black women. I want to show you something. This is from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health. It says... African American women have the highest rates of obesity or being overweight compared to other groups in the United States. About four out of five African American women are overweight or obese. Four out of five. Do you understand me? Four out of five is 80% of black women are overweight or obese. In 2018, non-Hispanic blacks were 1.3 times more likely to be obese as compared to non-Hispanic whites. They're basically telling you that you are 30% um, more likely to be more obese than non-Hispanic whites. This is a very serious problem. And what is Lizzo telling you? It's fatphobic. It's racist and it's hurtful. Now I posted this in the live as well, and I want to go through it to show you something. Okay, so as we as we said yesterday, the diseases of the heart are the number one killer of Black people. Then you have mal malignant neoplasms, cancers, and accidents. 
uh, uh, cerebral uh, bravascular disease, stroke, diabetes, chronic lower respiratory diseases, assault, homicide, kidney diseases, Alzheimer's, and es essential hypertension, hypertensive renal disease. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six of the, the uh, 10 uh, categories here are all related to obesity, right? But I wanna show you what they mean by uh, cancers. Now, this is from uh, the PubMed.gov website. It says the three leading causes of death in African-Americans, barriers to reducing excess disparity and improving health behaviors. African-Americans suffer disproportionately from several major health problems associated with high morbidity, fatness, and mort mortality. In 1985, DHH uh, Secretary Task Force reported on blacks and other minorities identified six major disease categories of excess deaths for African-Americans compared with whites by applying the lower death rate for whites to the African-American population. The report provided a stimulus for a public and private action which began to address the health disparities between minority and non-minority populations. This article examines three leading causes of death for African American Americans and assesses, assesses to extent which the health disparity between African Americans and whites can be reduced. The three leading causes, what I wanted to, what I wanted to mention, the three leading causes to, of death in African American males are diseases of heart, cancer, and HIV infection AIDS. Are you hearing me? When they say cancer, they mean AIDS. And I want, and also the conditions are, are same for African Americans and females, except stroke replaces HIV infection. Are you understanding? So why is this important? It's important because every single type of debauchery and destructive behavior gets heavily promoted in the black community so much so that black people the black people defend that um what you would call it destructive behavior such as overeating such as uh unprotected sex such as gunplay and gang violence such as uh, uh homosexuality all these behaviors are the things that are killing us and these things get promoted heavily but you know one of, the, one of the, 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 out of these 10 leading causes of death amongst black U.S. residents in 2018, you don't see, you don't see COVID. But what do we get in the black community? We get joints for jabs, free Metro cards, all kinds of promotions and prizes and freebies for your COVID vaccine, like food, alcohol, cash, scholarships, and on and on and on. But what do we get for the thing that is actually killing us body positivity. You're talking about a country that has a long history of robbing land, farmland from black people in order to make sure that their food security is not protected intentionally, making sure that their neighborhoods are food deserts, knowing full and well that black people are dying from heart disease and diabetes and hypertension and every single a type of food related disease you can think of, then turn around and send you Lizzo to talk about body positivity, positivity and then fat shaming and all this kind of nonsense, fat phobia. And let me tell you something for the sisters, okay? I know very well what it's like to struggle with obesity. When my parents passed, I fell into a depression. Okay, I'm gonna tell you some personal stuff right now. May Allah bless my wife and reward my, life, my wife tremendously for her patience and her support for me. I gained 46 pounds in one year and the only support I had was a lot in my wife, that's it. I know very well, when I gained that 46 pounds, I ended up having uh, sleep apnea. That sleep apnea caused me to, ca to get extreme migraine headaches. Those migraines caused me to take almost 12 hour Advil on a daily basis. Sometimes eight, sometimes 10, sometimes 12. That taking the 12 Advil caused me to get uh, uh, stage three A kidney disease. I know what it's like. So don't think I'm out here dissing you because you're fat. That's not what I'm doing. 
I'm not one of those. I'm telling you the truth and the reality of the situation because the situation is very serious. My sisters struggle with obesity. I struggle with obesity. This is not a joke. And listening to people like Lizzo telling you that your body is fine and it's great and it's beautiful is exasperating the problem, not helping it. So I will leave you with that. If you guys like these type of videos uh, where I make a video based upon one of your comments or I, res I make a video response to your comments, just leave in the comments section and show why I can do this as a regular thing. Uh, so I've seen a lot of annoying things about me on the internet, but the thing that bothers me the most is this rumor that I stage dived at a concert and killed somebody. Like that rumor it's a fly first of all i've never stage dived in my life and bitch how like kill somebody y'all really gonna put that on my name like i know i'm big but bitch i'm not that big like look